morning and welcome to day 131 northbound on the Appalachian Trail. Well, it was a very interesting night last night. I can't say I got a lot of sleep. Um, I slept in the cabin at Goose, Upper Goose Pond, which was great um, in terms of it had a roof and it protected me and the rest of us in there from the pouring rain last night and the thunderstorms. Of course, we would have been fine in our tents probably, but um, it's nice to not have to get up in the morning and pack out a wet tent. But it was very warm in there to start. And then when the rain came through, um, hold on here, there's a little bit of a steep descent here. Um, okay, when the rain came through, uh, right before the rain came through, there was a lot of wind and that caused acorns or debris from trees to land on the metal roof, which was very loud. <laughs> so that happened first and then the rain, which was also very loud. Uh, but I mean, it sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm really not. It was good to be in there and to be sheltered from the weather. Uh, I just wish I got a little bit more sleep. The person next to me in the bunk was reading for a long time. So he had his light on and I tried to cover my eyes, but what are you gonna do when you're sharing a space with multiple people? You know, there's always gonna be noises and whatnot. So that's the way it went. <laughs> anyway, um, delicious blueberry pancakes this morning made by Sue, uh, the caretaker at the Upper Goose Pond cabin. And that was lovely. Uh, so thank you, Sue, for those delicious pancakes. And now I'm on trail, left this morning with Rapunzel and Flamethrower. Uh, it was great to see Packflip, who is back on trail from her uh, injury. And she was at the pond last night too, and at the uh, shelter. So, well, it was more a cabin than a shelter. And I'm sure I'll see her again. Today is 17 or 18 miles to get to Kaywood Shelter, which is where I intend to go today. And we've got the cookie lady, the Massachusetts cookie lady, who is actually very famous on the Appalachian Trail. And she's coming up today. So we'll be going by her place and definitely paying her a visit. And uh, yeah, it's wet, the ground is very wet, so one has to be very careful. Uh, with footing and the sun is coming up it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day and I'm about to start a climb so I'm going to say goodbye for now and I'll check in with you later hope you're all having a great Tuesday well this seems really silly but I'm filming the Massachusetts Turnpike um, I've gone over this under this bridge in my car many times and seen the sign that says Appalachian Trail and thought, wow, one day I hope to hike the Appalachian Trail. And here I am hiking the trail, walking over the bridge and not driving, <laughs> but actually hiking the trail. So this is really cool. There's the Mass Turnpike. <laughs> Crazy. I'm happy to not have to cross it also. <laughs> There's a hiker in front of me too. All right, and Micah, of course. Woo, it's just so cool. So as you saw that we just came over the bridge, uh, uh, I-90, and then we were in the woods for a little bit and then came over another road, kind of crossed just a regular paved road to get back into the forest here. And uh, it was Jacob Ladder, Jacob's Ladder Road, which takes you to Jacob's Ladder dance festival which we've gone to um, in the past during the summer so it's just so cool to be in the Berkshires and uh, be in familiar territory in places that we've enjoyed um, as a family uh, so really cool it's wonderful to be here 
And we are on the summit of Beckett Mountain. And not much of a view here. Looks like somebody camped. <laughs> um, trees are blocking the view, but uh, I could tell we're up high. And it's misty, misty and a little hazy and cloudy. I don't know what the weather's gonna do today. I thought the rain was done, but I don't know. I guess we'll just find out. <laughs> but I have exciting news. Tomorrow my childhood friend Gail, my brilliant friend, who I talked about in May when it was her birthday, is coming to visit me tomorrow. I'm so excited. So she um, got us a place at the Bascom Lodge at the top of Greylock Mountain, which is gonna be so fun. And then we're gonna slack pack and uh, hike towards the mountain. And uh, she's gonna stay a couple of days and head back on Friday. So I'm so grateful that Gail is coming. It's gonna be wonderful to see her. So anyway, here we are heading down Beckett Mountain. <laughs> pond to my right, um, finer tea or thinner tea pond. Uh, in, I guess it's in Beckett. It's beautiful. I don't know if we're gonna, I know we're gonna go around part of it, but I don't know if we're going to uh, get closer to the shore. I'll let you know, but right now it looks really pretty to my right. Okay, we've arrived to the cookie lady's place. This is pick your own blueberries. Cookie lady is here. There's jam, homemade jam, black and red currants, raspberries. Oh my, incredible. Well, we're gonna check out and see what she's got for cookies. I think what I'm gonna do is um, eat my lunch here. And I see some other puppies. Well, hi. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's okay, say hi, say hi. Good puppies, good puppies. Yep, they just had to say hi. <laughs> That's okay. Hi, and there's Bebo and there's, um, I always want to call you Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> you can, I'll answer. <laughs> Rapunzel. Flamethrower. Do you guys have trail names? We do, Lost and Found. Lost and Found? Yes, that's Lost right. and Found. One of you is found, one of you is yeah. lost. I'm, yeah. I'm Sparrow. Do you mind that you're on my video? Not at all. Because I could take it off if you want. You're good. You're good, okay. All right. Nice to meet you all at the cookies la Cookie Lady place. Had a wonderful break at the Cookie Lady's house. Um, had uh, some delicious hibiscus juice, nice and cold, and some chocolate chip cookies. But I did eat my lunch first. I did eat my tuna roll up, so I was a good girl. I ate my lunch and then I chowed down on a couple of cookies, really good. And she just accepts donations, so we just made a little donation. So thank you, Cookie Lady, and for Mike for uh, being there and welcoming us. Um, yeah, so it's six miles from here to the K Wood Shelter, um, C A Y K Wood Shelter, and then it's another two miles from there to Dalton. And there's this man named Tom Lavardi, I think his name is, and he allows people to camp on his lawn. So I understand the terrain from here to Dalton is pretty forgiving. So this is what the locals are saying. So do I stop at the shelter or do I push on to Dalton and then I'll be there and then I could hike more in the morning and then when Gail comes, she can pick me up further north. So. I think what I'm gonna do is wait and see how I feel when I get to the K Wood shelter. It's only two o'clock. Um, I've got a full belly. I've got all the water I need. So, I don't know. I'm thinking I'd like to push on, but I wanna see how I feel. And Mike is doing great. Uh, so, we'll see. 
what, what the day will bring. Uh, hope you're all having a great Tuesday and uh, enjoy the sunshine. You can get out. It really is a gorgeous day today here in Western Massachusetts anyway. Okay, Bye. so slight, slight change of plans. Um, got a text from somebody I was able to help before with her injury. Um, she's going to be at the Kaywood shelter tonight. So we made a plan to meet there um, so I can help her with her injury. Um, so I'm not going to push on to Tom Lavardi's house where uh, he allows people to camp on his lawn, which is probably a better choice just because I know of at least 12 people that are going to be doing that tonight. There's a huge bubble behind me and most of the people that were at the Goose Pond shelter uh, cabin last night said they were going to Tom's and a lot of people just want to get into Dalton tonight. So it's only two more miles. So that's why people are going to do that. But given that I can help this uh, hiker and friend of mine, I think I'll stop at Kaywood. Because what's the difference? And if I can help somebody, that makes it all worth it. So, so that's the plan. We're going to stop there tonight and, uh, and then mosey into Dalton tomorrow, meet Gail either in Dalton or she's not going to get there till lunchtime. So I might just hike further north and then let her know where to meet me. So just some logistics. Uh, not very interesting, but that's what I'm doing. All right. Hope you're all having a good Tuesday and uh, I'll check in with you when I get to the shelter. All right. Have a, have a good afternoon. Trail magic. Massachusetts is unbelievable. So wonderful. Got to a summit here. And if I zoom in, that's Mount Greylock, the highest peak you right there. The highest peak there is uh, Mount Greylock, which is the highest peak in Massachusetts. I should be summoning that tomorrow, but probably Thursday. Very cool. Directly north of here. I'm on the summit of Warner Hill, where I just showed you the um, um, summit of Mount Greylock in the distance. And look at the size of these blueberries. Wow, delicious. All right, we gotta get to the shelter. Well, we're sitting in the shelter right now. The K, what is it, the K Wood Shelter. And we were 0.3 away when we heard thunder and we booked it. We got a little sprinkle on us, but now it's pouring. Micah and I are the only one in the shelter right now. Pack, Pack Flip is on her way and uh, she's gonna get wet because I know she's quite a bit behind me, but it is so nice to be here and to be dry. Wow. Well, I was gonna set up my tent, but I might not. Uh, I'm gonna see how long this thunder storm lasts, how long this rain shower lasts, but we might just spend the night in the, uh, in the shelter so we don't have to uh, set up on a wet, a wet ground. What do you think, Micah? <laughs> oh, so happy to be here. And it's a nice picnic table. It's underneath an awning so that we can cook our dinner right there. And there's quite a few bunks here. There's even a loft, uh, which we will not go on because of the difficulty of Micah going on the ladder. So I think I'm gonna claim this bot bottom bunk just in case I decide to um, spend the night here in the shelter, which is very likely because it is pouring and the shelter is nice and clean. So, and there's no sign of rodents. It's just whether it's gonna be buggy or not, but usually the bugs calm down at night. So yeah, this is where we are. Very cool. It is pouring. And there's nobody here. And the thunder is just really loud. 
thunder and lightning were really close by. I think it's passing. As soon as it passes, I'm going to stand under that awning and take a shower. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I soaked up my towel and I'm going to take a shower. And I got news for you. I'm spending the night in the uh, shelter because the ground is going to be soaked. You can see. Oh, I'm just thinking about my friends who went on to uh, Dalton. They're all getting caught in this. What a shame. What a shame. Wow. What a storm. Whew. It let up for a while, but uh, now another storm has come through. It's getting dark. My friend isn't here yet. I'm really worried. I've been praying. I hope she gets here soon. I can't imagine hiking in this. The crack of thunder and right now, a minute ago, was so loud. It's enough to scare the pants off anybody. She should be coming down that path. It is really coming down. It's windy. Micah and I are safe. And as you can see, the picnic table is now soaked. Not because the awning is leaking, but because the wind was pushing the, the rain. And it's getting dark, but we're very dry. We're right here, you can't really tell. Mike is right there, he's not bothered by the thunder or lightning at all. Although that loud crack kind of looked at me like, what was that? <laughs> I'm set up, I don't know if you could see. I've got my headlamp on, but um, I'm all set up in the shelter. And I'm gonna cook my dinner probably right here on the floor, right here. Wow, what a storm. Wow. And by the way, I did stand underneath the awning with just my shorts on and my pack towel and some soap and I took a shower and it felt so good. Wow, look at this storm, this is crazy. And there's no way for my friend to contact me because there's no signal down here. I called my husband about a mile and a half, woo, before I got to the shelter to let him know that I would not be able to call him tonight because uh, far out app had said that uh, there was no Verizon signal down here. And they're right. Wow, this is unbelievable. right over us. Oh, maybe it's letting out. Maybe it's passing. I hope so. I hope she gets here soon. This is more about Catherine Wood. Um, it's, it looks like her obituary. She was born in 1918 and died 2010 um, after a brief illness. 
Mrs. Wood was a homemaker. She was the member of the First Congregational Church of Dalton, where she was a Sunday school teacher, served on the mission board, stewardship board, and the women's scholarship committee. Catherine was an accomplished hiker, hiking the complete Appalachian Trail, the Long Trail in Vermont, as well as the 100 highest peaks in New England. As such, she was a worker and a volunteer on the Appalachian Trail since the 1960s, as well as serving on the Appalachian Trail Committee as a past chairwoman and volunteer coordinator. She was predeceased by her husband, William P. Wood, whom she married June 22, 1940, and by three brothers and three sisters. And then it says who she leaves. Wow, and she looks like a hiker. Well, Mrs. Wood, thank you for this shelter. It is keeping me warm and keeping me dry. Your legacy lives on. One more thing about Mrs. Um, Grandma Kay here. It says Grandma Kay hikes the Appalachian Trail and it's an article about her. And apparently um, she would take hikers into her home in South Street, on South Street in Dalton. And she completed the whole trail when she was 71 years old. Wow, isn't that amazing? Beautiful. Well, the rain's still coming down, and she made it. <laughs> Barely. She made it. She was soaked to the bone, but she made it. So, answer prayer, yay. <laughs> And um, she thinks that there's going to be more people coming. So we'll just keep looking. Um, but she did say that the trail was a river, right? Yeah. Trail. Ankle deep. Ankle deep. Yeah. Whoa, not fun. Not fun. So I'm just sitting here and making my dinner. I don't usually cook in the shelter. I usually cook on the table, but the table is soaked. And my dinner, because I am don't have any more freeze-dried meals, um, I'm having one of these Noor chicken and broccolis. And then I, I heated it up in my stove. And then I'm gonna throw some tuna in there just to give it a little protein. And I'll probably eat a little hiker's hummus. You just add a little water to this and mix it up with some um, with a tortilla or peanut butter with a tortilla. I haven't decided which one I'm going to do yet. And then a trail magic. There was a some kind of a treat here. I don't know if it's a muffin or something, but I'm going to eat that for dessert. <laughs> That's my dinner. <laughs> Hope you're all having a delicious dinner at home. I'm just happy to be dry. And Micah ate his dinner. And now he's cleaning himself up. <laughs>